how to put products on sale on Shopify, Shopify sale prices. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how you can set up sale prices on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into setting sale prices, we need to understand how we should be adding our product on Shopify because a lot of times people make some really big errors with adding their products that can prove detrimental to the overall product health that they have. So the first thing you want to do whenever you're adding a new product is to make sure that you have a keyword optimized title. So you don't want something that is going to be very niched uh, you want something that is very searchable, especially if you're a new brand, you're not as well established, then you need to make sure that the titles you're using include keywords or at least the descriptions should include keywords. So let's say I'm launching a new product. So let's say it's called red print t-shirt and I can just add a few words. And I'm just going to add a basic AI generated description like this. Then you have your active products. Then below that you have your media and we're just going to add our files. So you're going to upload the media files that you have. You can add videos as well as images. Now on the right side of your screen, which a lot of people neglect is the publishing. So you can choose where you want your specific products to appear whether or not you want them to appear only on your online store, on your POS system, on Google and YouTube, which is basically linked to your Google Merchant Center. Then below that, you have your pricing. You can set your pricing as well as product type, vendors, collections, and tags. Collections and tags are going to play a very integral part in categorization later on. So make sure to check out our other video on how to add categories to get a more detailed and in-depth information and tutorial about that. So now we have pricing. I'm going to explain this to you guys later. But first off, we have inventory. If you want to track inventory, you can add the inventory you have at a certain location. You can also choose to sell when out of stock. Now I'm going to track inventory and then we have the shipping. So this product requires shipping and let's say the net weight for this product is 0 0.50 kilogram or pounds. You have multiple different conversion units. Then you also have variants. So make sure you add all of your variants. Don't worry about adding sale prices to variants because you can add customized variant sale prices as well. And I'll show you guys exactly how you can do that. So let's say I want to add sizes or material options. So first off, I have 100% organic cotton. And the second option I might be selling is maybe a... So let's say this second variant is 10% polyester. Now with my new variants, I can set different prices as well. But let's say that the original price for both of these is going to be the same. And I have 55 available like this and I can just click on save. So just like that, you can add a basic product. Now, how can you add sales to your product? Now, one thing to keep in mind is that not only can you add a basic sale price, but you can also directly add gift vouchers on Shopify. So if you want to add gift vouchers on Shopify, you can click on product and then click on gift cards and then you can create gift cards for product. So you can send these directly to your customers. You can click on issue a gift card and you can create a gift card code, the initial value, and you can set expiration dates if you want. In the same way, on the left side of your screen, you can find your discount section. In this section, you can offer multiple different types of discounts. So the amount of product, so a product discount, a order discount, so if you're if someone is purchasing a lot, so someone's purchasing ten thousand dollars worth of items, maybe I'm gonna provide them with a one thousand dollar discount. So like that, you can add a discount for that. Then you have a buy one, get one discount. So let's say if someone purchases a t-shirt, I would give them a free scrunchie. So I can add those kinds of discounts as well as free shipping discounts. All of these can be directly added from here. But we are looking to add sale prices to our pre-existing products. Well, to do that, all you have to do is simply click on the item that you want to create a discount for. 
Once you click on the item, you will be able to see the price. So if you have variants, you will see the variant prices. But if you don't have variants, so let's say we have this product, you will just see your pricing. Now in your pricing section, you will add the normal price that you want. So let's say the normal price that you want to charge after sale. So let's say I want to start selling this product on sale for 50 and the compare at price is going to be the price that is higher. So your original price would be the compare at price. And let's say I was initially selling this for 100. Now you can also calculate your profit margins and cost per item, but I'm just gonna save it as it is. So I'm just going to save this product and now, just like that, our product has now been added in a sale price. So you guys can see it shows a discounted price on my product. Now, how can you create this kind of discount, but you want to have variable prices? So in our t-shirt that we created, I'm just going to open it up. We created two different variants, and then you have the prices for your variants as well. Well, for that, you would have to create different prices for different variants can be created. You can also click on edit over here. And now once you click on edit, you can start changing the prices for that specific variant. So now I'm selected, I have selected the 100% organic cotton variant. And let's say I'm going to start selling this for 60 and the original price was 100. And then I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to select the second variant, which is the 10% polyester one. And let's say this one is going to be sold for $50 and the original price was $100. Now I'm just going to click on save. Now if I go back into my product section, I'm just going to view my product. You guys can see the 100% organic cotton one is at 60 and if I click on the 10% polyester one, it is at 50 so in this way, you can create multiple different sale prices for a one individual product with different variants. So some variants might be more expensive, the ones that are selling out pretty well. You can offer a smaller discount on those, while the ones that you're having more difficulty in selling can be provided with a larger discount. Another great way to provide these discounts or sales or set sale prices on Shopify, if you want to do this in bulk and doing this individually is too difficult, then all you have to do is go into your product section, click on select all, then click on bulk edit. Over here, you will find your uh, different columns and you might not have the compare at price column initially. To add that, simply click on columns on the top, scroll down, and click on base price and compare at price. You can remove all the other information as well. Now, once you have that, you can start adding your base price or compare at price. So let's say that this bag over here, the small version, I want to start selling at $10 and the initial price was 33, 33. This one, the large version, I want to sell at $20 like this. And in this way, I can bulk edit the prices and set sale prices for my Shopify products. Once you have completed editing, just click on save on the top right and all of your prices will be edited. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.